Well, the AMC is done. <clears throat> I mean, almost. There's a chrome piece that needs to put on the hood, but I took it off because I bought a 70 Ram Air hood and I actually cut an inch off of the front of the hood so it fits this car and it came out great but the hood needs painted so it's still not on the car yet put a set of torque thrust type wheels on here I can't remember what they're called um, 15 by nine and a half or I think it was pretty wide I tried to put that size tire all the way around on the car that's why these are not raised white letters but they hit on a hard turn and a dip so they came back off but this car runs really well that I haven't for a long time there's my dog bed in the back she likes to go everywhere with me car shifts great runs good uh, AM radio even works it has factory tack in it I put these gauges in because I thought they were cool and it did not have an oil pressure or an amperage gauge in the dash this is just on here. There's nothing wrong with the seat. Oh, actually there is a little bit of a tear right here. I forgot that that was there. The motor here. I mean, to the best of my knowledge, this motor has never even been out of this car. Everything seems completely original to the car. I rebuilt the vacuum wiper motor and uh, it just didn't make it back on yet. I thought I was going to have this one for a long time, but I ran into a buddy of mine and he mentioned he was going to sell his 70 Mopar, which I've been after for many years. So that was two days ago and now today. It's sitting in my driveway. This is a complete original number matching car also. 440 pistol grip four speed. Has the air grabber hood. Car runs great. Power disc brakes, power steering. The paint is just beautiful on this car. It was painted, oh man, it must be 20 years ago now. But as soon as he told me, I didn't want to wait. I was afraid he would change his mind. And he's sick today. He even told me after we did the title, he had to go lay down. Oh, this car got the tack. I don't think the clock does not seem to work, but all the gauges work. Has a AM eight track tape on it. Headliner is great. The seats are all beautiful. Threw in some magazines. Put some aftermarket gauges in it, which I'm going to take out because all the factory gauges all work. Great horn works. Marker brake works. This little thing lights up here when you put it in reverse. This is a first Mopar. I got around. The car has all the original body panels on it. Jacks in there. I mean, my goodness. This car is just beautiful. And that's why I wanted it so bad. I have this 69 Firebird. I didn't quite finish it yet. This is the first car I ever painted. This thing's got a thumper in it. This car actually, I think, would beat that car. But this is also completely fresh motor and when I built it I built it to, to rock this this GTX is completely stock but I 
put a Tremec TKO 605 speed in this one. But unfortunately, this car has to go, and that car has to go to replace the funds that I just put out for this car. But in my opinion, this is a once in a lifetime you get a car like this that's completely unmolested, all original body panels, original numbers matching drivetrain. I'd rather have this one than those two, even though I really like them. Oh, I don't wait to open up. I believe this thing should close. I hear they close when the vacuum goes away. Maybe because the hood's open, I don't know. Like I said, this is my first Mopar here. Wow, everything is still soft on this car. I did notice, I'm sure this car came by, with the dual point distributor, but um, it has electronic ignition in it now, I see. Yeah, we're closing. Oh, this car is just phenomenal. Thanks, Tim. I never thought he'd sell this car. Years and years, I bugged him to sell me this car. But he said he only drove it one time last year, and up until yesterday, when I went down there to road test it, he said it didn't start in six months. And the underneath, is as nice as the top. This car never had any rust on it. At least to the best of my knowledge. Crazy dog. But, I hope you like it. And, uh, this is August 15th, 21. So, you know, anybody, I'd like to get 25 out of this Firebird. There's 10 grand into that motor. Another five grand in the five speed the Tremec, it's in there. It has a 12 volt pause rear end in it, which was out of a 69 Z28 Camaro. I paid extra for the rear end when I bought this car. This car is really clean, too. Move the trunk, the battery to the trunk. There's an amp for the stereo back here, a thousand watt amp. Knock it off, you guys. Oh, javelin. The car, just a car, probably got 15, but I have so much for this car. Because I had no intentions on selling it. And you have to excuse me walking in here. I don't know how to edit this thing but this pile of parts here Offenheiser dual quads they are actually AMC AFB carburetors they're on there they're 470 CFMs each which is great aluminum and heads full roller valve train electronic ignition Aluminum and valve covers, wire holders, Weissco pistons, scat rods. It is done. Wires, aluminum and wire pump, Ellenbrock chain. I mean, shit. And then over here, the crank is there. The block is behind there, I think. Somewhere back here. Yeah, it's on this dolly. All the machine work is done. The oil passage have been modified. If you know anything about AMC's, they had an oiling problem to the last rear. Two rods and rear mains. That is all fixed. But I'm going to go kick my dog's ass here. 
Anyways, if you like the car, I am totally in love with it. Thanks for checking it out.